Hi, uh, floated up now here with YouTube. I'm gonna show you a, a tutorial of how to make um, remote joy light work with Windows 7. I believe it works with Vista as well because, well, it's a uh, upgrade. Um, this is the beta. I'm pretty sure it will still work in the future. Alright. What first thing you need to do is have a modded PSP and your PSP version must be 4.01 M33-2 if it is not that it will not work with this program which is Remote Joy Lite version point one six uh, I'm not gonna go into how to mod your PSP there's several ways uh, you can look those up I'll post the information you need to get to that uh, version of firmware but other than that I'm not gonna tell you how to mod your PSP um, first thing you need to do is you need to make an SE plugins folder that's when you make the SE plugins folder you need well once you're at, I have the website here for downloading it's uh, on skies of Crota which is on Monster Hunter website so I'll be showing you how it works with Monster Hunter alright and you, the two drivers are right here you need remote joy light version point one six and this lib USB drivers which allows your PSP to connect but that you need to download but the, and when you do that the first thing that will come up their RAR file so first thing that will come up on the remote joy is this this is how you get it to work it will come up like this but first you need to copy this the PRX file when you copy it, you're going to post it in your SE plugins folder, which if you don't have, just make one. And then you need to go in your game folder. Or once you have this lo loaded up, the SC plugins, you paste it in here. I already pasted it in there. And then you need to make a text file. So just new, and then just write text document. And then what you need to do is in that you need to write this down for those of you who can't see it I'll make it a little bigger it is this and then you do not then you just save it then need to get in your PSP so you need to connect your PSP with the USB open it up and there's my SE plugins folder because I've already done this but this is in your root menu right here and there it is you see you got your PSP game and that games uh, text file and then that Alright, and then what you need to do is exit out of your PSP. You need to restart your PSP holding the R, R button to get into your menu, your uh, hack menu. And then you need to go to plugins. When you hit plugins, enable your remote joy light PRX, which should be on there. Once you do that, It'll boot up. You boot it up. You just go to exit. But once you enable, you have to enable the plugin. Go to any game that you have saved on there. Mine would be Monster Hunter Freedom 2. You start it up. Now, once your after your memory stick loads and everything, your computer will recognize the PSP device as long as you make sure it's still plugged in USB while you start it up. But your computer will recognize it. And then when it does, 
you need to go to control panel and then I switch the view so and then you go to D device manager then you need to find your USB your PSP and it's right here it should be on your list somewhere and you find your PSP and you'll double click on it and it'll say Sony blah 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 now this is where that lib file comes in you go to up you go to driver details and then you install your lib drivers so you would go update driver and then you say browse to your computer and then you browse and my remote joy is right here lib and I use the driver 64 which is in that lib folder after you uh, uh, um, unraw it and it works so I was pleasantly surprised because that's an XP driver and it worked so once it once it finds it then all you do is you go on your remote joy light folder again you click remote joy light en double click it and then there it is and it works and then you are playing your PSP on your computer screen and it makes it a hell of a lot easier to play uh, things you can do is if you hit escape on your keyboard you can actually set up a, a controller I haven't done it but you can use it I know PSP or a PS3 controller works probably the best with it I can link you to someone else's page who has it um, other things that it has you can turn off your PSP screen so then it's off while it's in your hand and then you can play your game run around do whatever and then the screens off but it's on and then all you have to do is hit X here to close it off and then you can shut your PSP down and that's my tutorial thanks for watching